When Norma Myers decided to open a, Norma Myers decided to open a nut store in her hometown of Medora, people thought she was a little nuts. But nearly 40 years later, her little nut store is thriving, and so is Norma. At age 97, Norma still enjoys her work, and as Jody Kurzman tells us, she doesn't have any plans to retire anytime soon. Hi, David. Norma Myers is nuts about nuts. A couple of my favorites. Since 1987, she's made nuts her business. Her little store, Chateau Nuts, has become a favorite stop for people who visit Medora. We like to visit. It's just a fun place to come. How are you today? Almonds are people's most favored nuts. And working here is Norma's most favored place to be. I do like people. Many of the people she sees here are repeat customers. And you know the routine. They come in the door and they say, you still here? Norma opened Chateau Nuts when she was 60 years old. It's not work to me. She's 97 now. My body is is retiring. But her mind is not. 19. Norma is still so sharp as a tack, doing math in her head rather than using a calculator. If you're total. This summer, she says business has been good. Very good summer for me. But Norma says that every summer. I haven't had a summer that wasn't better than the summer before. This wasn't her first career. It is when I got my GRI designation as a realtor. Or even her second. I've had a pretty exciting life. A life that took her around the globe. Me on the right. And then brought her right back to where she started. I believe that opportunities are everywhere. And this was an opportunity, Norma says, she'd have been nuts not to take. In Medora, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. You'll find Chateau Nuts on Medora's Main Street. Norma's open from Memorial Day to Labor Day. But don't think for a second she takes the winters off. She has many other hobbies she pursues when the store is closed, including genealogy and handwriting analysis. She says those hobbies date back to her first job after graduating high school in Medora when she worked for the FBI as a fingerprint technician in Washington, D.C.